Hello guys, welcome again to other video and this video is very special actually it's very important this video because we are going to talk about the weekly chart and as I said I think last week I said Bitcoin is getting ready for a massive move and I think uh, the first week of May we are going to see this move but not to the direction people are expecting actually I am expecting a massive breakdown this time let me explain uh, this this video is going to be very short because actually the chart for me this time is very clear let me show you here well <clears throat> Bitcoin got rejected by the MA55 last week uh, $42,000 as you can see here and now Bitcoin is about to test uh, this week uh, $38,000 we were looking for this so $38,000 is the region I am looking for right now the problem with this is because we are starting the week and Bitcoin is going to test well maybe in the next 24 hours this level Bitcoin really has a good chance to I mean bears they have, they have a very good chance to really break this area and close one day chart below there and you see full rejection all the way down to $30,000 but I am not expecting this area is not going to hold of course we are going to see a bounce but if that happens that bounce is going to be actually the short the big short uh, because Bitcoin uh, breaking this area for me is the clear signal to see in May mid 20s and actually even lower mm -hmm. around right here mid 20s is the area I'm gonna start looking for uh, this area and um, but yeah I mean the close is very clear right now the rejection is, very, is clear for me the last hope for bulls is holding other week all the week uh, $38,000 but and I think the probabilities are very low right now. The reason is simple. The time is almost over. As you can see here, the curve is, is almost testing the cell line and Bitcoin is not uh, going up, right? So you know the rules. Well, if you know the rules, I think you can watch more up to my live streams and you will see. <laughs> Always I am explaining the rules. As you can see here, five chart, we still have with this fresh cell signal and we have uh, other two days yes not just today the close any close below 38 as dollars today in the next 24 hours you will see uh the leg down to 30 30 000, 33 000, 30, uh, yeah thousand dollars around this area let me show you here yeah around here this is the area i'm gonna start looking for yeah people you you can say okay thirty four thousand dollars it could be uh other again other um, area of or support maybe yes but based on the volatility and the structure i think this area is not going to hold anymore i think bitcoin will test again thirty thousand dollars from there a bounce yes something like this if thirty eight thousand dollars is going to break it, it, it breaks right so something like this this in here bounce here of course and after that continuation uh, maybe continuation to the downside that is the expectation that is my, my, my technical analysis on weekly chart and also on weekly chart let me show you here we have here for first time bitcoin is about to test the zero line here and every time when bitcoin is testing the zero line we, you can see maybe a major uh, a bounce here yes but in general this is the area in some point bitcoin is gonna break as you can see here this area was a fake out yes because bitcoin just came here for one moment and after that massive rally but this formation is more looking like this formation and this formation so as a long time ago anytime when you see bitcoin below the zero line here i will say it's a buy yes but a buy as, as investor not for trading because you can say here when it's below here you can see crashes of 24 percent 40 percent 50 percent so that means here bitcoin crossing the cell line in may you can expect a uh, crashes of mini minimum i think 40 percent crash let me show you here well you can see with with um with <clears throat> with the, in the past for example bitcoin uh, testing the cell line here the first time here bitcoin tested the cell line here and you see the crash was from the mid 55 to the bottom 20 percent the second uh, test around here you see the major pounds here testing the mid 55 again and after that continuation to the downside as you can see here for example bitcoin uh, this, uh, the first time uh, we saw a bounce here in 2018 in this area as you can see here we have this test bitcoin bounce from a uh, uh, six thousand dollars all the way up to eleven thousand dollars about uh, this in the mid 55 and 21 maybe we could see something like that yes but as long as this move to the upside is below the previous 
so you can expect its continuation. So again, Bitcoin tested the zero line here, or the test to six thousand dollars. But this time, well, in the next test around here, this area, well, now you can see what happened, the breakdown. So I am not expecting Bitcoin to do to break. I mean, right now to mid twenties, I don't think so. I think Bitcoin is gonna bounce around thirty thousand dollars again. As I said before, for me, thirty thousand dollars is the new six thousand dollars of two thousand nineteen. Mm -hmm. So every time when you see this in this area, you will see a bounce. You will see a bounce, but this bounce is gonna be lower than the previous one. It's gonna be lower and lower, and in some point this year, you will see capitulation to the downside. Okay, that is the best scenario for Bitcoin because that means Bitcoin, even with these uh, the problems, I mean the uh, all the problems we are having right now. Bitcoin, technically speaking, is doing good because, as you can see, Netflix, what other, other assets actually, they are right right now they are 50% down, and Bitcoin in this area, in this area is actually using sideways, very good because this is not a crash. Let me tell you, my friend, this is not a crash. For me, it's just a distribution. Mm -hmm. The time will come for Bitcoin for that crash, but not yet, I think. Maybe maybe in May, maybe in May, uh, in the next three months. Mm -hmm. Now, let's talk about, because actually the monthly is coming, the monthly is coming, and, you, well, very interesting, right? Because the monthly is at $38,000. Any close in the monthly below this level, you will see in the next two or three months a test around mid-20s, as, as expected, and now that is the biggest thing. If Bitcoin holds this level, okay, totally fine, maybe sideways here for a long time here, accumulation, and you can see to the moon, right? But remember, for first time in the history, we had monthly bear divergences like Netflix, like other other coins, other assets, sorry. Uh, they had a macro time range bear divergence, not, not just in monthly, bi-monthly and three months. That's why you can see the, the crashes. So this time I'm expecting Bitcoin is going to hold here. Mm, I don't know. Maybe yes. Maybe yes. But I will expect uh, a week, something like this, breaking and killing all the people who made money in 2020. That is my expectation. Mm -hmm. I am expecting Bitcoin in some point is going to kill all the people who were making money at $10,000. I am expecting Bitcoin is going to break all of them. Especially all the moon boys. Uh, they are making money with Cardano, for example, a 0 0.10, 0 0.20, and the reason is simple: is because I saw it in in 2018 uh, in the bear market, in a real bear market. Uh, all the people who they took they bought the bottom, as you can see here, they, after one year, what happened? Mm -hmm. Same thing here. If you think ten thousand dollars is that was the the best area to buy, I would say, well, if you didn't cash out here, for example, uh, you will have other opportunity, but I don't know, it will take a long, long time. Mm -hmm. So now, any close below 38, uh, I would say, I, I would not say it like monthly, is necessary, no. I think one day chart, one day chart, uh, one candle, one day closing below 38, you will see a Bitcoin starting the trending to the downside uh, mid 20s. Yeah, uh, May is gonna be, it's gonna be very bad for for the market, I think. Mm -hmm. Now uh, let's talk about the three month chart because three month chart is gonna close very soon. Um, well, three month chart, shot in a star we have here, shot in a star here we have ADX and uh, negative. We have bear divergences from this point and this point. Let me show you uh, with the <coughs> with other indicators, for example, the RSI. Side, we have bear divergences here, as you can see here, from this point and this point, and also from this point, from this point and this point. Mm -hmm. And now it's losing the the moving average, as you can see here. In January, in, in April 2021, we have this bounce, and this is a very obvious distribution pattern. I mean, in my in personal opinion, this is a distribution pattern where we, can, we, ha, we have shooting start in the highs, we have full rejection, any close uh, in three months chart, any close below 33, you will see a leg down to mid 20. So I'm expecting a bounce, yes, yes, but in general, if this close in the next um, in one week, in the next close, we have this close, uh, <coughs> one moment, uh, April, 
Buen momento. Ok, sorry. No, no, no. My mistake. My mistake. This is three months is gonna close in July, not June. No. So actually, that is, is worse right now because we have the close breaking the the MA right now in April. No, sorry about it. And uh, yeah, I mean, this is continuation to the downside. Actually, it's worse. Uh, I was expecting Bitcoin. Uh, I was thinking. Okay, never mind. The point is, Bitcoin is gonna test around three thousand dollars this month. Uh, maybe next month, and uh, maybe mid twenties, according to this, because it's breaking the May. So you will see, historically speaking, every time when you see Bitcoin around 50, 50 level in three month chart is when you have the bottom of all the macro moves. In two month chart, uh, let me see here. Yes, uh, breaking the sixty level. Yes, it's gonna test fifty, fifty level in bi monthly. So that means more pain to come here in May. And June, I think. Um, historically speaking, here uh, the bottom for this asset is not clear. Actually, I would say MA21, maybe 28. No, I don't think so. This time I'm expecting $15,000 tested. Yes. So, what is continuation? The, 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 the once or anything here in three months chart, we have air in three months chart, we have air in a month, in two months chart, and also the one month chart. If you study the stocks, for example, Netflix, I think, let me, let me show you here. Netflix, you see here we have massive bear divergence in three month chart. Um, two month chart, massive bear divergence here, as you can see, you can see it in, in the curve one, two, three strikes, and also the monthly, right? The monthly you can see here, right? One, two, uh, bear divergence. And you don't want to see for Bitcoin playing this because if you see this bear divergence playing for Bitcoin, it's gonna destroy all the gains from 2020. All, uh, all the things, this. This is super destructive. This is gonna be super destructive, and also this one. Let me show you. This one is going to be super destructive, and you will see Bitcoin at fifteen thousand dollars this year. Mm -hmm. And that is for me. That and for me that makes sense. For me that makes sense, and the reason is simple because there are too many moon boys right now, and as long as the media is talking Bitcoin is the future and these kind of things, well, I am defensive. Mm -hmm. Now, okay, I finished my technical analysis monthly because it's one week, a uh, few days just for the monthly. So I think now makes sense. We know now the macro picture, so we can expect Bitcoin is gonna break down this level. Uh, we we can the probabilities are like this. I mean, thirty-eight thousand dollars. Bitcoin must hold this level for. Oh my God. Other month, other two, <laughs> I think other two or three weeks. Um, the time is almost over for one day chart. Let me show you here in one day chart. It's very, very concerning. Why? Because ADX is about to test the zero line here. Crossing tomorrow, 23 weeks level with ADX positive here, and you will see the next short here. Mm -hmm. Of course, uh, OBB is not healthy at all, as you can see here. Bitcoin uh, losing the, the exponential here in OBB. So Bitcoin doesn't have any, any power right now. And if we use the RSI, well, this is it's gonna break down actually. Mm -hmm. So, but let, so never mind. So this is the area I'm, I am looking for. Sorry here. This is the area, and not because I'm saying now Bitcoin is gonna break down. That means you're gonna you're gonna short 100x all all in. No, because you are here. If you are short, my friend here. You are short in one of the most important area for bulls. So there is a very high probability you will see a bounce first. And after the bounce, maybe you can think to start shorting, maybe yes, but wait for the setup, okay? In one day chart, this, this is not a setup for, for shorting. The, set the short was here, mm -hmm. was here, or the second opportunity for shorting is gonna be something like this, here, maybe in some point, next moment. Mm -hmm. For now, Bitcoin is not looking healthy in one day chart, and well, about the short time frames, let's talk about it in the live stream. Okay, guys, uh, one thing here, uh, let's talk about the USD dollar. It's dollar super bullish here, as you can see here. ADX about to cross, crossing the 23 level, 23 level right now. ADX in one the chart super bullish. OBB is super bullish, and this is gonna break out actually. I am expecting the breakout here. Weekly chart super good actually, even with the diesel signal right now here. Looks like uh, you will see a uh, five level tested again. If I am right with my monthly monthly technical analysis, you will see a new ATA. Mm -hmm. New ATA, yeah, new ATA. Closing in this week about 4.50, 60 around there, around there, you will see the uh, new ATA. So that that means Bitcoin is gonna break 
key levels. Okay, guys, thank you for watching, and see you in the live stream. Thank you.